Hey guys, Nathan Chan here, CEO and publisher of Founder Magazine. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how we built a super successful digital magazine. Now, you're probably thinking, who the hell is this guy? Like, why is he qualified to share what he's sharing with me right now? Well. Our magazine founder, we've had hundreds of thousands of subscribers to this magazine. We've become a multi-million dollar year company. And uh, I started this from knowing absolutely nothing five, six years ago. I started in, like I used to work in IT support. I wanted to find work that fulfilled me and I somehow stumbled into creating this digital magazine and working it all out. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all the things, like the top things that I've, when I've really thought about how I was able to do this, I wanna share it with you. So hopefully you can do this too and, and learn from my experiences and lessons learned and, and failures. So the first thing I wanna share with you is it's all about consistency. I think it's so incredibly important. I started Founder while I was working my day job. It was a monthly magazine, digital magazine, still is to this date. We publish it on the Apple iTunes store and Android and also on desktop. It took at least 12 months to get any sort of traction at all. So I was working on it on the side while I was working my day job in IT support. I think this is really important because so many people when they start any kind of business, it's easy to buy in and hearing these insanely successful stories. You might hear mine and be like, wow, this is so cool. Maybe it's easier than I think. It takes time. And I think that's the biggest thing I want you guys to take away when it comes to creating a successful digital magazine. It is very, very tough to create a successful magazine in general. If you want to create a successful magazine or any content, you know, play, it's really coming down to consistency. I publish the magazine every single month and we still do at the middle of the month we publish a new magazine edition and that compounded over time and still does. It still compounds when we publish a new magazine, pushes out and grows the brand and it trains our subscribers to know like, yeah, you know, these guys are legit. These guys are, you know, putting out content every single month. That's what I'm going to get, which is really, really important. So when it comes to growing your magazine and building your revenue and, and your subscription, it took me 12 months to see any sort of traction. I'll never forget when I was working at the company I used to work for, I got somebody in the marketing team to help me write a few articles. And I remember saying to her, I met her, I, I bumped into her in the lift because the building that I worked in, they had two different floors and I was going in the lift and, and I bumped into her and she said, how's the magazine going? And I said, yeah, it's going good, but it's taking so long to take off. And she said to me, Nathan, just give it time. If you keep doing what you're doing, it'll eventually take off. And she was so right. But I remember thinking at that point in time, like six months in, it was like so tough. Like we're getting no traction. We had no followers. Like we had some subscribers, but you know, we were, we were making a few hundred dollars a month. And so where I'm going with this guys is it just takes time and you have to be patient. I think that is so incredibly important. I've seen so many people start digital magazines using the same software that we use at Founder. They ended up bombing out. And the reason that they bombed out was because they weren't seeing the growth that they were looking for. I've just had that discipline. I've just been extremely consistent. So I think that's really, really important. So the second thing that we did, which I think is really, really important, is we chose a really big market that was really trending and underserved. And I found that there was a certain kind of content that we could create that would get traction, that would get cut through. So if you look at Founder, like five years ago, the entrepreneurial market still is trending a lot right now. Like entrepreneurship is the new cool. There's a high likelihood that you are watching this video because you are an entrepreneur or you wanna become one. And I know that. And I knew that there's so much noise out there. There's so much spammy, listicles and rubbish and there's so many gurus touting these get rich quick schemes and so many people behind Lamborghinis and these Facebook ads. You've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So I knew that if we were to publish a monthly magazine that interviewed founders that actually were legit founders and most importantly, they shared actionable content that would provide a lot of value to people. When I say actionable, I mean like the Forbes rich list is incredible, right? Like it's aspirational. I, I'm not interested in that kind of stuff, but a lot of people are. It's interesting to see who is on the Forbes, you know, rich list. How does that provide you value in any way, shape or form? Like how do these people actually get there? 
And that's a big ethos. And like when I started the magazine, that was a big ethos and it still is today. How do these people actually get there? What did they actually do to get there? What did they sacrifice? What did they give up? So that's the ethos. So we chose a really big market, entrepreneurship, and we found like that, that market was being underserved in some way, shape or form. And that's how I started the magazine. So that was one big thing that I recommend. If you wanna start a successful digital magazine, you've gotta choose a big market and you've gotta look for where is that kind of part of the market where they're being underserved and, and how can you differentiate yourself, even if it's the slightest way. So the third thing that we did was we had a really big focus on brand. Now, that's a combination of really focusing on getting famous founders on the front covers of our magazine. First of all, I talk about how to do this in another video, so make sure you go check it out on this channel. But coming back to that, whatever market that you're looking to serve, you wanna effectively look for the rock stars, the influencers, the people that are influential. You wanna be able to align your brand, your magazine with that person. So if we have Richard Branson on the front cover of our magazine and tell an incredible story that's extremely valuable, that's never been told before to our audience, that elevates our brand because we're growing the brand by association, which is very, very powerful. So when it comes to founder and what we've done, we really focused on getting incredibly influential founders. And if, if the founder wasn't influential as a personal brand, their company was. So you might not know the founder, but you know their company. That's really, really important for us. And then over time, that has been able to compound and we've been able to get more incredible founders to interview. And the second thing around that was when, it was when I was focusing on brand, was I paid a very, very big emphasis on design. So when it comes to creating a magazine, it's very, very visual. So you have to make sure your design is incredibly good and you can get great design at a really cost affordable rate if you use a tool like Behance or Dribble. So those are both design marketplaces where you can find incredible designers to work with and you can you can get you can find some really cost affordable incredible designers on those particular platforms which is really really amazing and i focused really really heavily on great design ever since i started founder our uh, still our art director still to this day Karan, he said to me you know nathan when it comes to creating this magazine, if you spend a little bit more money and a little bit more time and a little bit more effort into and really put it into design, it will pay its weight in gold over time. And that was so true. That was the best piece of advice that he, uh, that he gave me because I remember thinking at the time, I was like, oh, this is a little expensive, but it was worth it because it really built the brand. And now the founder brand is, is a great brand. I'm, it's, and I'm not just saying this to toot my own horn, like I'm very, very proud of the brand and, and what we've built. So part of that is having influential founders that we've aligned with. And secondly, was placing a really strong emphasis on design. So guys, those are the things that have really, really helped me build Founder Magazine. I hope this is valuable to you. I know that like you might be looking at us and thinking, wow, these guys are so massive. There's no way I can achieve anything of what Nathan and the founder team have accomplished. But you have to remember, right, at one point in time, four or five years ago, there was no founder team. I started in a similar position you're probably in right now. I knew nothing about designing magazines. I knew nothing about content. I knew nothing about marketing. I knew nothing about as editorial. I knew nothing at all, but I was hungry and I wanted to learn. And I wish I could have watched videos like what you're watching now. I wish I could have been able to get access to content like we put out at Founder, like 99.9% .9 of our stuff is free. So in saying that, please do make sure you subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every single week to help you start, grow, or scale your business. Please do give us a thumbs up for this video to let us know that you liked this kind of content. And then lastly, please do leave a comment below. Like, are you working on a digital magazine right now? Can myself or anyone in the team help you? We respond to every single comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you in another video. The founder mission is to help you create an ass-kicking business and help you learn straight from the mouths of world-class founders. Get your free printed edition of Founder Magazine featuring Sir Richard Branson. Just cover shipping and handling at founder.com forward slash Branson.